it is a problem seen in offices around the world, when the boss is in a prickly mood it creates an atmosphere that can spread like a plague through all levels of the workforce. Now, a study has confirmed that rudeness at work really can be contagious as it travels from person to person like a disease. Researchers claim that even petty behavior, like leaving someone off an invite to a communal event or spreading rumors, can start the cycle off. They found witnessing a supervisor being uncivil to another worker was often enough to cause people to be rude to those around them. Psychology of Twitter Storms Most of the time they can be calm, considered and sensible individuals, but some people can fly off the handle with rabid, spitting fury when they start using social media. Psychologists believe they have uncovered the reason why sites like Twitter can trigger this personality transformation. They say a dangerous combination of people feeling distanced from the person they are abusing and having a vast platform on which to vent anger instantly encourages users to become more aggressive. Just as normally calm drivers sometimes lash out when they get frustrated behind the wheel, so ordinary people can become uncharacteristically angry on social media, said Dr. Richard Sherry. The clinical director of psychological systems in central London said people using social media were less likely to feel empathy or compassion towards others. A recent poll found almost 9 in 10 Britons now admit to having lost their temper more quickly online than in real life. Young people were the least tolerant. Dr. Torkelson believes companies need to be more aware of the harm that rudeness in the workplace can do as it can often spiral and damage the way teams work together. She said better training could help to combat the problem. When people become aware of the actual consequences of rudeness, it is often an eye-opener, she explained. And, of course, most people do not want to be involved in making the workplace worse. The findings mirror the results of another study performed earlier this year that asked graduate students to negotiate with their classmates. It showed that those who rated the last person they negotiated with as rude, were more likely to be rude to people they negotiated with later.